week's feast, Chunky Chicken from Rocco's Modern Life. Nearly 25 years after the original show came out, Rocco's Modern Life is back with like a 45 minute TV movie called Rocco's Modern Life Static Cling. On Netflix, and it is actually so cool. It's like Rocco in the 20th century. Yeah. It was actually really cute. And it was giving me 90s vibes all over again. My childhood, your childhood. My childhood, I we love this We are Nickelodeon show. babies. Mm -hmm. And this new Rocco's Modern Life is just as good. They always used to go to this place called the Chokey Chicken in Rocco's Modern Life. Yeah. So we are making our own chicken so good you'll choke on it. Right. But what did we do? We made it super spicy. Yeah. So you're gonna get your choke factor from that. Mm -hmm. Actually, the choke factor is up to you. You can make this as spicy as you want or not very spicy, but I mean, in the sake of not, you know, actually um, killing people from asphyxiation. Heather? <coughs> what we are making today is going to delight the senses and not choke you to death, maybe tingle you to death with some spiciness. <laughs> so let's get cooking. Chicken that looks good, tastes good, and even smells good? Come on down to the Chokey Chicken. We started small in O-Town, but we done gone global. Chicken as far as the eye can see. It's like the ones at home. Man, this chicken is so good, you're gonna choke. <laughs> All right, we know. Chokey Chicken, like most things in Rocco's Modern Life, is kind of a dirty joke. But this chicken is no joke. If you're a VGHS fan, you know that your bird ain't ready till it's hit the brine. So Brian, dunk your chicken overnight into this brine mixture of buttermilk, crushed garlic, red rooster hot sauce, sea salt, and some white pepper. Make sure that your chicken is fully coated top to bottom and you can add in a little more buttermilk to achieve this if there's not enough liquid. Cover and refrigerate overnight. This spicy seasoning blend, which will be key to our deep fry combination later, combines cumin, smoked paprika, salt, pepper, and the sweet of powders, onion, garlic, chili, and cayenne. Mix these together and set aside. Spread parchment paper over a baking pan and remove your chicken from the brine. Sprinkle a third of your spicy seasoning over one side of the chicken, then rotate and coat the other. Combine the remainder of your spicy seasoning with flour, mix and pour into a large gallon plastic bag. That's your dry half for your deep frying. The wet half is a mixture of eggs, milk, and hot sauce in a smaller bowl. Time to prep these birds to get fried. Plop your chicken into the gallon bag of seasoning and flour and shake it until they're all evenly covered. Dust off any extra when you remove them from the bag. Then dunk the chicken one or two at a time in your egg mixture before transferring them back to the bag and coating once again. When you've done this for all of the chicken, heat a pot of oil to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and carefully add it in, cooking only two or three at a time. The temperature inside the chicken should read 165 when they're finished. And voila! Chokey Chicken from Rocco's Modern Life. Hot chicken has been trending in the food space for a while now, and we're happy to bring our version to life. The buttermilk brine makes a huge difference in the final taste, and the flavor is going to burst right through with the layers of fried goodness in between the meat and your mouth. Little known fact, the show actually changed the restaurant change name to the Chewy Chicken, because the prior name was too explicit of a reference to, well, you know what. But in the newest movie on Netflix, it's right back to the original moniker. So that is dedication to the joke. Ooh, not to mention Chokey Chicken. So why don't you dedicate yourselves to making this recipe? And that fried goodness will be yours in no time. Who's that patron? It's James Forrest! James Forrest! Okay, Wimmy, moment of truth. I am ready to try Chokey Chicken. I mean, Me how too. cool did the restaurant look? We were watching it in the 90s, okay? This is like one of those, another one of those nostalgic childhood food moments where you're watching Nickelodeon shows and the cartoon food actually looks good. Cheers. Enough chatters, let's choke on some chicken. All right, I'm gonna dip. <laughs> Me too. Just the skin, you can taste that light level mm -hmm. with that hot sauce. And again, you can make it as spicy as you want, but. I'm just gonna keep it real with you guys. We did this pretty light for you guys, because we don't know what spices you like, but Jimmy and I are spice aficionados. So if we were doing a PC recipe for the lovely audience of this cooking show, it would be way more spicy, wouldn't yeah. it? Yeah, be, I'd be dumping sriracha in there. Yeah. I'd be getting some. 
I don't know, some ghost pepper. Double in there the spices. As well. This is delicious and it does kind of tickle your throat, mm -hmm. which gives it a little flavor, which is amazing. Mm. But if we're talking spice here, I could have definitely doubled the spice factor. Oh, and triple the spice factor. Whoa! That's right. I want to make right. Rocco proud. If you have Netflix, you should watch this new show. It's super duper cute, especially if you're a fan of the old one. Um, it's modern time. Rocco gets stuck in space for 20 years and comes back to whatever's happening. So that's a lot of fun. It's so cute, guys. It's gonna tickle the nostalgia in your heart. Yes, lots of tickling. It was so cute. I liked it. Me and Sawyer watched part of it. Luckily, mm -hmm. Sawyer doesn't understand much of it, which is good. <laughs> I would never have guessed if you told me that they were gonna remake Rocco's Modern Life in the modern era. I would be like, no way. They're gonna do new stuff. They're not gonna go back to the old stuff. No, we are full circle, my friends. It is Rocco's most modern life. Yeah, he's actually very modern now. Yes. Yeah, Rocco extra modern. Because actually Rocco the 90s is Rocco's old life. Yeah. It's not even modern anymore. No. <laughs> <laughs> but also, if you didn't know this, we are in a brand new set. This is the new home of Feast of Fiction, and it was made possible because of one very special thing. Our patrons at patreon.com slash Feast of Fiction, they really did help. We built this thing from scratch. These tables, these shelves, all of it, the whole wall behind us uh, was constructed and we were only able to do it because of our patron support. So if you want to be a part of the clan, talk to me on Discord, hang out, go to patreon.com slash Feast of Fiction and join me and Ashley in making the show better than ever. Yes, and we hope you are enjoying our new set. Mm -hmm. This is where we will bring you all of our amazing recipes and make so many more memories right here yeah. at this new spot. We thought we have a cookbook coming out. We may as well upgrade the look as well as stay true to the brand. And so here we are. Well, that was an amazing recipe. Be sure to let us know in the comments what you want to see us make next. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.